Hello everyone, this is Ben Bird from www.justchilloutbuddy.com. I am Ben Bird, the author of that blog, and today I'm going to talk to you about why I don't allow comments on my blog or my YouTube channel. Um, maybe it's a dumb idea, I don't know, but that's just how I'm doing it. That's how I've decided to do it for a few reasons. Um, and I'm going to talk to you today about those reasons. I have them written down here on my handy paper. So why don't I have comments? It's less work for me. I am married. You can see my ring there. I have four kids. I work 40 hours a week at a regular job, <laughs> you know, and I have a little bit of a commute to my job. So I don't have the time to reply to comments and read all the comments. Um, not that I have a lot right now. Right now, there's only one subscriber on my YouTube channel. Just <laughs> it's my brother, but I barely just started like two weeks ago. So it's fine. Um, but I've decided not to allow comments because it's less work for me. I just don't have the time. And I would feel responsible for getting rid of spam and for replying to thoughtful comments and for answering questions or, you know, um, when people comment, a lot of times they have the expectation that someone's going to like the comment or reply to the comment or something like that. And um, a lot of the time spent in comment sections just are not very useful, I've found, across the Internet. So um, that's why that's one of the reasons why. Another reason is because a lot of comment sections are war zones. I don't know if you've read some of the comment sections on like news articles or whatever, but like people get really nasty. And what's funny is people are a, lot, are a lot nicer in real life. And I think that there's something about being able to comment anonymously that really brings the ugly side out of people. The dark, violent side of people comes out and uh, people go on the attack and it's really negative. I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive. I want to put something positive out in the world. And um, I also want to control my YouTube channel and my blog a little bit more. So that's part of why I don't have comments. Another reason is I've noticed that a lot of what happens is um, called groupthink. In comment sections, there is a tendency for people to all start agreeing with each other. And groupthink is um, is something that needs to be battled. And I think that one that way that you can do that is to just kind of step away from the comments and, you know, get out of your comfort zone, your bubble, your tribe, and, um, and think a little bit more before you speak and uh, just calm down. And uh, <clears throat> so... That's one of the reasons why I don't want to allow comments is I don't want groupthink to settle in and everybody to start sounding like a member of a cult or something. Not that that went anywhere close to happen, but but it just happened. Look out for that. You know, it kind of happens sometimes. All right. So the other thing is um, online communities aren't real communities. You know, like um, I've participated in online communities before and sometimes they give you the feeling that you have all these friends and that you're part of a great group and that uh, they all have your best interest at heart. And the problem is you can't really reach out and touch any of those people that are commenting. And um, here's something interesting that I've noticed about real communities. So in real communities in real life, there is a cost to, and there's usually pain involved in joining it and in leaving it. So, for a family you join, which is one of the smallest forms of a community, you know, probably the most important form of community is the, the family. And so for a family, you join it through birth or through marriage. Those are really the only two ways that you join a family. And to leave a family, you leave it through death or through um, divorce or, um, you know, like, uh, what's the word for that? Denouncing your child. I can't remember what that's called, but uh, disowning for disowning a uh, child. Those are really awful, dramatic things. But you know what? Like when communities mean a lot to you, when they're really important, it's really hard to join them and it's really hard to leave them. And that's just part of life. With online communities, 
What do you have to do to join those? You just type in your username and your password. Oh, you're approved. Maybe you fill out a quick questionnaire or whatever and, and you're approved. And then how do you leave it? Turn the power button off on your computer or your phone and then you're gone. That's it. So it's, it's not the same. So that's another reason why I don't want comments. Another thing that you need to be, watch out for is there are paid commenters out there. So companies know that comment sections are important. Companies know that people read comment sections and they're influenced by them, like when they make purchasing decisions and so on. So for example, let's say that I wrote a post about sugar and how bad it was and how it can make you more stressed out which actually is true, by the way, uh, sugar, I think is awful and it does make you more stressed out. Uh, there's been studies to show that, but so let's say I like bashed Coca-Cola and was like, Coca-Cola is advertising to kids and their Coca-Cola is trying to get kids addicted to soda, which is probably true. <laughs> so, so let's say I did that. And then somebody commented on my blog and was like, um, Oh, Coca-Cola is a good company. They're doing a lot of great things. And they tell you that blah, 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 and the Food and Drug Administration, blah, blah, blah. You know, and you might think, oh, this is just a rational person who's just normally motivated to leave a comment on a blog. But they might be a paid commenter. They might be somebody working in an office somewhere for Coca-Cola, being paid by Coca-Cola to make comments that put Coca-Cola in a favorable light. So that really happens. Um, so you just can't trust a lot of the things that you put, that you see online. Okay. So you might be wondering, well, if I want to make a comment, what do I do? Um, how about, uh, talking about it in real life with somebody else, say like you show them the blog or the video and, and, and then say, this is my comment about it, you know, tell somebody in real life about it. Um, so you can have more real life conversations and fewer online conversations. Um, that's one thing you can do. Um, another thing that you can do is, um, email me, um, because I like emailing rather than commenting back and forth because it's a private thing. I mean, people behave differently one-on-one -on -one than they do in big groups. So my email address is Ben Q bird at gmail.com. So that's B E N Q B I R D at gmail.com. So just email me and um, I'll probably respond. Okay. So um, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, and uh, once again, I'm Ben Bird from www.justchilloutbuddy.com. And I hope the information that I am putting out there is helping you reduce your stress because that is what it is all about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.